welcome dear students today we will discuss the ministry of tourism efforts for the united kingdom and europe their operations and of course this would also have the same sort of structure like objectives what are the operation for uk introduction background important features who travels to india and why they travel uh, their trade experience with india rating india against other prime asian destination a comparative study and of course the way forward ministry of tourism has to take care the operation europe is also very important which would again cover the different area and will discuss the first one the objective is to understand about the tourism in uk and india and we wish to know the profiling of indian tourists those are visiting uk and we wished also to learn that how the what are the tourist profile of uk those are visiting india and to have the solution of this problem to understand the european tourism market to know the outbound european nations those are very important for indian travelers when we talk about general statistics uk is the most popular tourist destination among indian tourists it is also visited by family friends and to those who have chosen to immigrate there people travel to the uk on work and students to study at its world famous universities colleges and schools it is the one of the most visited nation in the world the british government offers different series of visas and cater to the needs of these visitors overall 2017 was a record breaker for overseas visits to the uk and for the amount visitors spent across the country there were a total of 339.2 million inbound tourist visits to the uk in 2017 up 4% with visitor spending that is 24.5 billion actually it was 9% visitor from india traveling to the uk in the record number latest official figures from visit britain the uk's national tourism agencies shows that 2017 was a really fantastic year when we talk about tourism from india to uk you know 5 lakh 62000 visits from india to uk in 2017 and when we calculate it the spending was a record one that was 454 million pound so when we compare this to the different years you will find that Uh, it was an improvement in 2016 also for your utter surprise i wish to inform you that london being a key destination for inbound visitor become so popular among the tourist you know when we talk about background a constitutional monarchy effectively run by a parliament united kingdom is spread out over in area of 242514 square kilometer the uk known for its weather overcast and grey for the most part as much as for its beautiful countryside it is also famous for the places of historical interest such as stonning and the many still standing castles and that have their own landscape also as well as present monarch elizabeth ii has been ruling since 1952 following her father george v death she is also the head of state of 16 other countries including canada and australia rather commonwealth nation as well as the head of the you know commonwealth nation the which is a global grouping of the countries those were ruled once those were the part of the former british empire india is one of them indian british has almost 200 years long association and um, total when we talk about the british and uk generally we call the british or the uk tourism and india there is a very strong bonding in between because you know in india has a large english speaking people similarly british also love to visit india because of its culture and because of its tradition the government of india have the projection for the long term that around 2050 over 65 million people may visit and when we talk about uk it is top one of the top 10 source countries for foreign tourist arrival when we talk about 2017 foreign tourist arrival 
the initial was one the bangladesh but us and the uk so as such when we talk about this it is 9.83 98 986296 tourist those had been to india during 2017 and there is a series like afterwards canada australia and other nations are there but that is very important when we talk about the, the importance of uk of course the countries like malaysia and sri lanka russian federation is also there when we talk about the 10 important foreign tourist arrival countries which include nine number germany as well as the france also so so when we talk about the bureau of immigration government of india these are the official figures which uh, was given by them and when we talk about the duration of stay when indian goes they tend to stay longer than the all market average visitor you know is spending 19 nights on an average per visit in uk whereas the generally it is the seven nights are across all markets the large volume of 15 plus night stay accounts for uk so that's why uk is very important and so far as indian outbound uk market is concerned it is still very much influenced by friends and relatives you know this can explain why over 3 in 5 nights spent by indian visitor in the uk in 2017 because they visit their relatives also uh, you know another thing which is very important when we talk about the uk the most common accommodation type of hotel or guest house is you know uh, which is one to five star hotel rented house uh, you know flats again this is holiday visitor to the uk that have visited the uk before also only 33% of the holiday visits from indian residents to the uk excluding of course uk nationals were made by repeated visitor in 2015 but this share among visiting friend and relative visits from india was almost double it is approximately 65% so most of the indians when they visit on a package to uk uh, that is all inclusive tour it is almost over 3 times that all market average in 2017 that shows the importance of tour and package for a market that is still very much a growing market where first timers out numbers repeat visitors you know visitor demography when we talk about the origin over half of the visits to britain from india were made by people who resides in the state around mumbai especially maharashtra and in the delhi area and most of the country with the exception of some desert and mountain areas in the north is densely populated and most of all along the banks of the ganges in the north the main urban areas include new delhi mumbai kolkata bangalore chennai hyderabad now the question comes who travels to india and why from uk it is in the experience of travel and tour operators in the uk Travelers to India usually belong to the age group of 31 to 50 years and they hail from the middle and higher income categories most are married though they may not have the children among families traveling with children the children are usually below 16 year of age since vacationing in India is perceived to be more expensive than other destinations it is chosen mostly by people from the higher income brackets India travelers are attracted to its fairs, festival, traditions, warm and friendly people. Cultural diversity is all again important. Wildlife, heritage, yoga, spiritualism, so many other things are there. And of course, people love to visit Taj Mahal, Agra, royal palaces of the Jaipur, backwaters of Kerala are very important. You know, people love to visit Kullu Manali. so they love to have that travel experience when we talk about the tourist destination when we talk about the travel agents and tour operators they focus on certain important aspects and the experiences inquiry for india are common between october and march when the weather across india is clement rajasthan is the most popular destination among british tourists because they wish to enjoy the colorful costumes culture palaces and as we have discussed already that the most important thing is that people from uk they are very comfortable here because the communication in english is very comfortable for them goa himachal pradesh because the beautiful mountains are there in himachal and this there the tour package range from 2000 to 5000 pound per head for a duration of almost 14 15 days two weeks and other destinations 
around India for which holiday package are also offered include like you know neighboring places Nepal, Bhutan, Maldives, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh. In recent years, there has been a 2 to 5% increase in the number of travelers traveling to India and the trade expects that about 10 to 20% of its future growth might come from Indian travelers. Overall, the interest in India among potential traveler had remained stable. This is very important for India. Uh, UK people, they date India as a prime destination in comparison to the Asian destination. Uh, when facilities wise, when they rate India in comparison to the other prime destination, tour operators, they felt that while airport infrastructure was good in the recent past, people were friendly. Indian India offered a wealth of options in handicrafts and artifacts, but road infrastructure is poor. Accessibility is poor, tourist location and quality of guides did not compare well and other destinations in Asia. So Ministry of Tourism, they try always to upgrade foreign tourist arrivals. Growth in India is little less than 11% per annum when we talk about last decade. UK is the second largest country, last decade it was the second largest country after the US. And that is very important when we talk about the critical analysis of UK as the market of origin. And when we talk about the UK and India relationship, they have the strong tie-up. So, considering the tremendous potential to attract foreign tourists, Ministry of Tourism has taken a lot of new innovative steps in terms of promotion, in terms of market development activities to get a better understanding about the tourism trade when we talk about the UK. Even certain studies were conducted about the perception of tourists, their perspective. So when we talk about Indian tour operators, they are more keen to have the outbound tourists, especially from Maharashtra and Northern India. Online booking become increasingly popular and you know, uh, most of the tour operator travel agent stress upon this online booking. OTAs are quite different from the most commonly definition they have call centers where consumers can call into a book or modify their booking, staff that can collect cash from the customers, residents or offices for booking or network of sub-agents doing so. So this is how this uh, merger between two main players make my trip and the, another important company IBGO group that was approved and complete in June, January 2017 last, last year where to find the trade, how to work with the trade. The Indian traditional travel market is quite fragmented. You know, there are about 150 key travel agents in the five cities of India like Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Bangalore and Calcutta. There are also large number of small agents. Those are operating from the comparatively smaller cities across the India. And uh, uh, some of the main tour operators online and offline may just sell air tickets to the UK or accommodation there. Uh, of course, all of them are not selling the long holiday package. Most travel agents in India are only ticketing agents, focusing on the lower end of the market. So when we talk about the market position or market situation, you will find the tremendous features when we talk about the UK Indian market. You know, the Britishers, when the UK, the people from UK, while they are coming for the business directly to India, it is wise to carry press releases, features, photographs, as these can be used for media opportunities, even at short notices also. Uh, recommendation for the Ministry of Tourism in India, due to lack of promotion of tourist destination, travelers form perception about India which discourage them from choosing it as a vacation spot. Travelers are also known to have said that I have not thought of India as a destination as it is too complex to get there and it is just a cultural and religious place. This is what the feedback is. The trade finds it difficult to dispel some commonly held notion among travelers like India has no great adventure. This is what they have, the mindset. No parks, no beaches, resorts are not up to the prob. And the main problem is of hygiene, cleanliness, communication, transportation, taxation, of course, is a bit on a higher side. So these are the issues which include some uh, up to an extent the visa processing fee, 
and the time taken time consumed for this that again uh, certain area like passport photo uh, re-entry rule of for two months they are you know uh, mixedly welcomed by them some of them they agreed some of them are not very happy uh, so you know after mumbai attack there is another uh, phenomena which has come up in uk the people are reluctant to visit india and uh, Thus, you know, uh, Ministry of Tourism need to disseminate correct information about the safety and security issues, especially to the tourists and travellers, those are coming from UK to India. And when we talk about the um, tour operator of the UK, they, they sometimes provide the feedback to the Government of India, Ministry of Tourism. And uh, Ministry of Tourism is also working for that, like some of the uh, important aspects are like advertising more extensively on the main TV channels in the UK. This is very much important for creation of awareness. And you know, tourism board meeting should be have more number, aggressive market acquire like more live shows in the different cities of UK, you know, uh, long term campaigns and you know, celebratory endorsement should also be there. So far as irregularities are concerned in the visa process, that should be stopped down or reduces. Marketing India as a tourist destination, uh, that they, they, the tour operator says that once clients visit India, they always return well satisfied. Wherein their experience in sightseeing, nature tourism, cultural diversity, monuments and artifacts, palaces and royal retreats, wildlife, spiritualism, temples and cuisine are all exceed their expectation. However, there is a lack of awareness about India, which prevents it from realizing its full potential as a tourist destination. So it has a low visibility and is often viewed as an expensive destination that is difficult to get the because visa are tough to organize. There is not enough information available for the UK tourist about India. So there is a need for more information on products, places, rules, regulation, laws, visa, processing, price, so different aspects are there. So when we talk about some of the travel agent, those who are interviewed in the UK, they highlighted many aspects of their experience with holiday markets and uh, traveling, the holiday makers traveling India from India to UK or UK to India. Uh, many tour operators felt that India had the potential to be in the spotlight in the outbound tourism market. Uh, we are, they generally most of them, they, they offer tailor-made holidays also. And they have most number of clients for uh, India. And it is our most selling destination. This is what has been shared by the tour operators. When we talk about the accommodation, they also offered a lot of uh, suggestions to the Indian tourist tourism board to improve their perspective in the tourism market. Thus, with the educate uh, educate support from the Indian Tourism Board, uh, the tour operators can play a key role in influencing the decisions of outbound travellers in UK. So when we talk about way forward, there are different measures which may be categorized into short term, medium term and long term. So familiarization tours should be organized for the media people and the celebrities. You know, front office executive training should also be imparted to handle the British tourists because uh, their queries are very important. Publicity material is there, but it should be upgraded and it should not be outdated. And, um, you know, new India, new destination, new products, new packages, new circuits, new luxury properties need to be promoted alongside well-known destination that is very important when we talk about the uh, the tourists those are coming from uk and we wish to attract them you know promotion on search engines social networking site which have immense reach has to be further strengthened when we talk about the efforts to be made for the uh, catch for for catch holding these tourists uh, interaction with the tour operators is also required when we talk about long-term measures uh, more focus on product or big destination uh, campaign required for different set of travelers, those are visiting India. Uh, we have to critically examine the needs and requirements of travelers, those are coming from different geographical region of UK and they are visiting different part of the Indian destination. And rather than sending brochures, 
fortnight update on what is happening new what are the new events launching uh, are being launched festivals design all these should be on a frequent basis they should keep in mind the the, the mindset of the customer europe always remain as an important destination for india as well as european also consider india as a important destination so far as tourism growth is concerned from india to europe or europe to india you know it's very interesting that um, indians they prefer to go to europe in compared to south africa or pacific when we talk about india's inbound tourism as reflected in the arrivals from the uh, european nation you will find that the growth rate is almost 8% in the last 6 years 2013 to 19 and you know the government of india is also focusing about the european market and uh, for your utter surprise almost 35% tourist those are coming to india they represent different european nations you know ministry of tourism also working very cautiously about the how to improve the tourist those are coming to india from the european nations and um, as i told you that Indian government has a special reservation for the the European tourists those are visiting of course some of uh, in some of the studies they have added the tourists from UK also so far as western european countries are concerned uh, their part like the schengen area most notably germany france spain and italy those are the important nation though, uh, where, from where the tourists are coming in the creamy layer and uh, government of india has taken certain important aspect those are noteworthy to promote tourism as well as outbound tourism from india to european union destination especially from the point of view of drawing larger inference about irregular immigration uh, migration data on bilateral tourist flows from india as the source country is more important further in term of actual significance data on outbound tourism from india reveals that it has surpassed that of inbound tourism and is expected to expand further in the coming year while the growth of indian outbound tourism could in fact be attributed to the country's vibrant economic growth indeed most of its appears to do with the easing of tourist visa regulations in travel destinations improved bilateral visa arrangements and even the relaxation of the foreign exchange regulation to some degree as such indian outbound market has grown up like anything um, it was 3.5 million only 97 whereas it has gone to 10 million uh, during 2007 and of course when we talk about today you will find a drastic change has been witnessed during 1819 when we compare to the last years indian tourist while they visit europe they spend their, their expenditure is grown up like anything and you know some of the prediction made by the D- unwto uh, that reveals that indian will account for 50 million outbound tourists by the year 2020 so the total spending shall touch us dollar 30 billion in 2020 unwto prediction are very important and european commission and european nation they are focusing of course on asia but they are concentrating on indian market also because of the fast uh, growth and strong indian market when we talk about indian tourists those are visiting around 20% of the uh, outbound travel is towards european countries so that is very important somewhere and most of them they visit europe for the holiday purpose this is very interesting and the most frequented european destinations that take up the majority share of travel from india including the uk of course one of number one and then france italy germany Switzerland so these are the important countries in Europe the western european countries dominate within the european region compared to other regions in term of the percentage share of indian arrivals while we do not have the exact breakdown by country in study but 
the western uh, europe is dominating when we talk about this the countries such as austria france germany netherlands and switzerland in the western european region could have attracted the highest number of indian tourists while the southern and northern european region take about 15% each of the total indian arrival and europe the central and eastern europe region constitute the remaining 6% so uh, it is the highest one is the western region of europe however based upon the arrival data sourced from the national tourism statistics of the european travel commission we can observe that the countries listed have become increasingly important as of significant tourist destination for indian travelers you know excluding uk of course uk is one of the popular visitors destination for india whereas shenigan area is an emerging area for Uh, indian tourists those are visiting europe uh, country like uh, italy switzerland germany to a large extent netherland of course belgium and austria to a lesser extent as featuring among indian leading outbound tourism lack of consistent constant and continuous data prevents us from deducing a clear pattern uh, but of course uh, slowly now we are getting the data uh in a more refined manner so this is why uh, the countries like you know such as slovakia greece poland they also have drawn some tourists from india in the recent past but not very high the number is relatively smaller to these listed countries you know when we talk about the key drivers and barriers when we talk about the tourist in uh, tourist flows in general the literature point to a number of reason to explain the possible determinants of tourism flow between countries and established finding coming from this literature is that from an economic lens a set of demand factor determine bilateral tourism flows this demand in turn relies on the interaction of range of factors including relative price levels at home and destination countries of course destination image is also important visa regulations income level or the financial capacity of to travel cost of the transportation infrastructure health and safety concern are other aspects those are important the combination of push and pull factor is also very important when we talk about the european market income and preferences of the tourist as well as competitiveness of the destination as an attractive tourist location you know very interesting is that the bollywood influence uh, most of the indian tourists they wishes to visit those countries especially in the european nation those have been depicted by uh, bollywood in their different movies so we cannot overlook about those indian films those they were the shooting took place in the different countries and indians are they love to visit those locations exotic locations especially when we talk about the switzerland ireland Austria UK they are such beautiful and romantic places for India so it is a psychological impact in attracting many indian tourists to these location by feigning their desire to travel in general given the visibility and influence film command several countries utilize film tourism as an effective medium so dear students we can some of that uk and europe market are very important for india as substantial number of tourists visit both the destinations uh, similarly tourist arrival from uk and european nations are very important for indian travel trade as it has high multiplier impact on the economic development of india and vice versa from marketing point of view it is very important for the students researchers and professionals to study about both the destination uk and europe similarly most of the indian is still they prefer to visit uk and europe sometime they club both the places during their one visit uh, while they visit abroad and this would uh, if they work properly then definitely the result will be more appropriate for the development of the economic growth of india and i am sure the entire discussion for the uk and europe will be benefited once again i wish to thank you all